All right, so I got a 1968 Triumph T120R uh, ignition switch here. I think it's a Lucas. Uh, I was gonna buy a whole new ignition switch, but then I realized I could buy just this tumbler for like $6. So anywhere I can save money on this bike, I've been trying to because it's getting rather expensive. Um, so I uh, did a little bit of research and it took a little bit, but a Google search let me know that you're essentially supposed to take these out when you have the ignition switch turned on. And I guess that's probably some sort of anti-theft device. Uh, I'm not really sure, but you have this hole here. And I'm assuming that pin, once you turn the ignition on, would line up with that, that hole. You'd hit it with a little punch and then just slip the, the key tumbler out. Um, I can't think of any reason you would ever take this key tumbler out unless you uh, didn't have the ability to turn the key or didn't have the key at all. And uh, that's the position I'm in. So I'm going to actually try to remove this tumbler with it turned to the off position because I don't have the key. I found some instructions that were pretty helpful, but uh, I modified them a little bit. One, you got this hole. There's going to be a little rubber cover there. Pull that out with a little piece of needle nose pliers. And then what you'll notice is that this hole lines up right here. And the pin's actually going to line up with this side of this tumbler. So the idea is that you're going to try to touch that pin through this hole and maneuver your way in there and then pull this tumbler out simultaneously with something. Um, they use a key. I didn't have a key that really fit in there, so I used a flathead screwdriver, which bent this up, but I don't plan on reusing this anyway because I don't have a key that fits in here. So no big deal for me. For you, you may want to be more careful. And uh, one thing I noticed is it's actually really not that hard to pull this out of here. I was putting a lot of pressure on it and you don't need to. But um, you got to do it once to know how to do it, I guess. So, so uh, first thing, they recommend a paper clip to get in there and try to hit that little button. I found that a paper clip wasn't strong enough for me. Um, maybe because this tumbler hasn't been spun for a long time, so things were a little more locked up in there. So what I used was a cotter pin. Uh, that worked pretty good for me. Two, uh, you're going to want to... Um, you're going to want to just know that it doesn't take much to press that in it's all about finding it and really getting a feel for where that little divot is and then you can actually feel yourself pushing down that button when you're doing it um, like i said i was i was really pulling on it trying to figure out where this thing was and you know you don't have to at all uh i sprayed a little wd-40 in here to try to loosen things up just in case it was stuck i don't know that it was but so now I'm going to get a feel for, you'll actually feel if you bend your cotter pin like this, if you just run it around this drum, you'll feel it kind of fall into a little hole. And then from there, you'll know you're in the right place if you kind of push back like this and you can feel a little bit of a spring action there. Not the spring action in the cotter pin, but an actual spring in there for this pin. Now this could be a two person job. If you have a extra set of hands, you could have someone you press in the pin and then they pull out on that center tumbler. I don't have an extra set of hands. So I have a screwdriver over here in this vise. So I'm gonna get a feel for that pin, feel myself pulling it in, put it on this screwdriver. And then if you get that pin pushed in just right, pops right out. As you can see, that took almost nothing. Uh, it's worth mentioning while I'm here that they do say if you happen to have a key that fits in here, I don't know if it's a common key or not, you could put that key in there and then file down these pins to where that key is, you know, essentially the key for this. Uh, I'm not going to do that. The center tumbler is $6. I'm going to replace it. I'm going to pop one new one in there and uh, I'm going to call it good. So Hopefully that helps some of you actually seeing someone go through this process physically instead of seeing some pictures or some forum posts. Um, yeah, uh, short and sweet, not that difficult, not as difficult as I thought it would be. So save yourself a little bit of money and uh, just buy the center tumbler and take it out like that. Um, and then install is just, you know, you get this pin, it's gonna push in here. If you just make sure to align it where that hole was, you know, if you put it the other way, I don't think it's going to work because it is odd shaped. And then if you just push in, you'll see, boom, it's in there. 
um, and then I'll have to remove the skin, but that's okay since I know how to do it now. All right, thank you.